Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sarah. Happy birthday to you. I just got caught in the rain. I look like absolute dog shite. I say that all the time, but only because it's true. Okay, we're just gonna do this. Hello, good morning, good evening, hello. I've no makeup on except concealer on a spot and tinted moisturizer. I also look like I'm on cocaine because I have two massive lights taped to my camera because it's so dark and there's nowhere to film in here. So my pupils are like, um, we're just gonna we're just gonna do it because I've had no time to film because I've been editing weddings, filming weddings, doing Zoom calls. Yeah, then it was my birthday, so then I have a meeting with a videographer who wants me to work with him as well. So it's been a bit mad. And then sometimes when I do actually want to film or have the time to film, I hate the way I look, and I hate the way I look today. And I say this in every single video, but you need to know how detrimental and fucking annoying it is to hate yourself that much but you know I'm just trying this new thing this year where I put on the first outfit that I try on because I know that even if I put on another 20 outfits I'm always going to resort back to the first one so I'm trying that and it's actually working and I'm also just trying to film even when I look and feel like shit which is a lot of the time so hello this is my plant his name is Albert I bought him for myself for my birthday. I think I've killed him. I finally got my yaks in my favourite colour, mustard yellow, which is exciting. And I have a discount code for 25% off if you spend over £70. So my referral code is in the description. The only catch is you have to sign up with an email address that you haven't used before to order something through Lucy and Yak, and then you get 25% off. And then I get 25% off. So win win. Winner winner chicken dinner. Also, I have my balloons up from my birthday. It was my birthday last week. I'm 31. I'm 31 already. I literally just turned 30. What the fuck? You know when life goes really slow when you're living it, but then you look back and you're like, it was 2020 and now it's 2022. So, so what is new with me? I've spoken about this before, but I'm now a wedding videographer. I know I mentioned this briefly before, but I started my own business in August called Wallflower Weddings Videography. There is a link to my page if you wanna go like that, share it, be fab. So I finally get to do what I love for a job. I get to film and edit, which is just so exciting. And I'm so happy and so passionate about it. And I absolutely love it. Obviously, like any job, it comes with its ups and its downs and shitty customers and its lovely customers. Same as any job, because I'm still working within customer service, but I'm doing something that I love and I'm actually really good at. I mean, I know I have a long way to go compared to some videographers, but I love it. I, I absolutely love it. So that is what I'm doing at the moment. So I work from home a lot of the time. My office is my bed, which has its ups and downs. I actually can't wait to have my own house and my own study or office which would be lovely. I have weddings booked in Scotland. I have a lady inquiring about Ireland. I've got weddings booked in Cornwall and up north. So I'm going all over. So hopefully that will make for some really interesting vlog. I say interesting, I'll be staying at premier inns and travel lodges, so it won't be interesting. But as much as I love editing and filming for a job because it's all I've ever wanted to do since I was like 15, I didn't know that I wanted to do it as a job, but I've done it as a hobby for so long that I don't know why I never just thought, hey, I can do this as a job, but there you go. But the only annoying thing is I never have space on my laptop for my own videos now because weddings are like 200 gig a wedding. So it's quite hard finding a free SD card and some free space on my laptop. Also, speaking of Apple, if you're thinking of downloading the new, is it Monterey? However you say it, Monterey, Monterey, don't do it because I was on the phone to Apple support for an hour because it completely fucked my laptop. It was just glitching, it wasn't turning on, it was like restarting itself, you couldn't log in, had like lines all over the screen and it wasn't a hardware fault, it was software. So don't, don't do it. What's going on with my fringe? 
Albert, you're getting in the way, mate. I just bought this fleece. Thought it was really cute for Sainsbury's. Also, I know Valentine's Day is next month, obviously, but me and Jack like buying funny cards. Like, I don't see the point in just buying a really boring, like, oh, happy birthday, oh, happy Valentine's. Like, we always try and buy funny cards. Like, like, we bought a card for our friends who have just had a baby the other day, and it wasn't like, oh, congratulations. It was, yay, you made a tiny human. That's the kind of cards we buy. So this is Jack's valentine's card that i got him which i think is great <laughs> i feel like it's been so long since i've done this but yeah i have my eyebrows microbladed which i never thought i would do i thought they had to look like really unnatural to have them microbladed like slugs but she was like no i can try and keep them as much to your natural eyebrow as i possibly can i've always struggled with my eyebrows because whenever i would fill them in I had really uneven brows and everyone was like no, no no it's just you like you always have one good eyebrow and one bad one and I was like no 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 like they're really really uneven so I stopped filling them in getting my eyebrows microbladed proved my point so it was supposed to take half an hour for the entire appointment but it took her an hour and a half to actually level up my eyebrows and she still had to do them slightly uneven because we're gonna go back on the second checkup and like sort them out. Because my right one is severely wonky, completely different to my left and I was like, I fucking knew it. I knew that it, was, it wasn't just me because it was so different. So, so yeah, it proved my point. I do actually have really wonky eyebrows and she was like, look, I can either do them slightly wonky and then on the second appointment, we can go back in and we can get more like wiggle room to try and even them up or we just don't do it. She was like, you know what, some people wouldn't have even done your eyebrows. Um, I was like, oh, cool, okay. They look a lot better than they did. I found some coffees that I absolutely love. They're called Minor Figures, and they're made with oat milk. These are so good when I have weddings. This is probably my favourite birthday card that I got. So because COVID stole my 30th, by which I mean I couldn't see anyone or do anything, the whole idea was to have a really big, like, 30 plus one and go to Poland or France or somewhere, but COVID is still fucking things up, so I couldn't do that for my 31st either. So I had a little family party. It was okay. It was really nice to see my nan get all dressed up and have a little dance and actually see people, which was quite nice. It wasn't quite the turnout that I wanted, but it was still better than last year. I was really extra and I decided to buy a sash and a tiara. I had a graze board, had some friends biscuits, some cupcakes made by a client. I don't have anything to talk about. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna sit down and make a vlog. And then I was like, why? I really want to make the conscious effort to actually make constant videos this year and actually try and build up my channel. Look at this vintage Disney top I found the other day. It was from when they had a marathon at Disney World in 94, so I was three. It's so 90s, I absolutely love it. I didn't ever do a like what I got for Christmas video because I'm 31, I don't really get a lot. I get pajamas and socks and stuff. One of my favorite things that I did get because I'm really lame. I got a chocolate frog. Oh my gosh, I got wizards cards. I didn't realize that it came with cards. He's gone. Well, you can't expect him to hang around all day, can you? I honestly don't think I will ever get rid of my orange hair. I was thinking about doing it in the new year and I was like, nope, I love being a Weasley. Look how girthy this chocolate frog is. I know this is a really English thing or British thing, but you know like when you go in the loft and you find like all quality street tins from like the 50s or old biscuit tins and your nan's turned them into like a sewing kit or something. I feel like this is what this tin will be. In years to come, my grandchild or my child will find this in the loft and they'll be like, oh wow, a vintage Harry Potter tin. The day they remake Harry Potter will be a very sad day and a day that I will feel extremely old. We're gonna talk about books, obviously. Ooh. I'm usually not the biggest fan of mental health books, self-help books, things like that. Um, however, I've been reading No Such Thing As Normal by Bryony Gordon, which I'm kind of liking so far. I feel like this definitely appeals to older people, not so much teenagers. I've only just started it, so I haven't really got a lot to say about that one. <laughs> but these two, I would highly, 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 highly recommend. So this one, The 100 Years of Lenny and Margot, is so sweet. It's such a cute little uplifting book. Without spoiling it, it's basically the friendship between 17-year-old and an 80-something-year-old. They meet at this art class, and it's just really sweet. This one is my favourite. It's Confessions of a 40-something Fuck-Up by Alexandra Potter. I would compare it to Bridget Jones. It's actually really funny. A bit uplifting and lighthearted and a bit comical. I would recommend this one. I've still got my balloons for my birthday. It just won't go down. So I know I mentioned that I have a code for Lucy and Yak. Recently, because in the first lockdown, I sold so many of my clothes and belongings just to pay bills. And a lot of those 
were lutein yak items so I didn't have any dungas, no dungarees, no lutein yak items so I started a little collection from scratch I mean I'm paying it all off on Klarna and it's probably the worst idea ever to do that but I have the little denim boiler suit which is so comfy I love it it's probably one of my favourite favourite things that I bought on top of the 25% they were also having a 60% off sale which is really dangerous I love this print kind of fits in with my name my business name as well Wallflower Weddings and then I wonder why I get chased by bees in summer and I scream because I'm allergic but I'm literally a walking garden to them. One of my favourite pairs of dungarees, which I bought from Depop, are the sunflower dungarees. I've got orange ones, lilac, dusty pink, forest green, brown, and then these are the floral ones that have just come out. I'm gonna sell this one on my Depop because unfortunately it is too big. I only have 9% battery left but I went to see Scream the other day and I could talk to you for hours about Scream because it's one of my favourite slasher series, favourite horror series. I saw the first one when I was eight or nine and the fact that I'm 31 now and Scream 5 has just come out it makes me feel really old. I absolutely loved it and I just think Wes would be really proud. I really liked it because I like how Scream constantly takes the piss out of itself as a horror film and it jokes about like oh why is there always some big boob girl running up the stairs when she should be going out the front door? Scream 1. You know they take the piss out of themselves as a horror franchise um, but the writing is always so clever and I think the misdirection as well because obviously we all kind of guessed who the killer was I'm not gonna spoil it but then they misdirect you and then you think oh okay like maybe maybe it's not like that person's not the killer and the writing is so well done or I think it's really well done it's funny and you love all of the characters you love the old generation and you love the new characters I don't know I just really really liked it I know a lot of people didn't but Scream is one of my all-time no it, is, it probably is my all-time favorite slasher series because that along with I know what you did last summer which I loved the reboot series of absolutely loved that but Scream will always be my favorite slasher franchise and I really like Scream 4 again a lot of people didn't I was so excited to see Scream 5 that I actually went to the cinema to see it on my own it's typical crap slash a horror but it's not crap i just really liked it so for anyone else that has seen scream did you like it if you did why did you like it if you didn't why didn't you like it why didn't you like it but my battery is on four percent now so also since i saw you i'm triple boosted baby wow look at that we almost went an entire video without mentioning covid oh fuck me thank you for watching if you've watched until the end thank you and i will see you hopefully very soon bye